Hey guys, welcome back to the Hack Vault. Last time on the Second Reality Project Reloaded, we just arrived at the Sandy Shrine. Time to beat Castle 6. Let's hope we don't meet a premature burial. So, I considered going back to get a cape feather, and I'm starting to regret having not decided to do that. However, I've decided what fun is this level if I don't struggle a little bit, huh? And for some reason, that did not work. Why am I not jumping out of the water? I'll screw it. For some reason, I can't hold B and jump out of the water. It seems to be some, uh, disability of the game or something. And let's just jump over Pokey here. Let's just kill everything. Screw you, Monty Mole. You know, if it wasn't for the fact that they're moving, I'd be half convinced that I have to go in one of them for the secret. And odds are, I probably still will. Okay, you know what? Let's just actually take the time to, uh... Okay, seriously, look at this! I literally... I have such hard time jumping out of the water for some reason. I don't know if it's because you have to like hold three buttons down or something for it to work. But I just have the hardest time with it. Oh, come on. check some of these pipes, just in case. The, the less need for me to backtrack, the better. Oh, wow. That was easy. It's not so much. And go. Made it. Rewind that a little bit. There we go. You stay on that side of the wall, Pokey. Whoa, living on the edge. Anything up here? No. Alright. Alright. Down these pipes. I'm pretty much going to conclude that if it is moving pipe or uh, right underneath a moving pipe, it's probably not the secret I want. Up here, and... Ooh, there we go. Um, okay, so I probably have to go in one of those pipes. Fair enough. I guess not. We got more of these little rhinos. What is down here? A feather. Well, I wasn't really planning to beat the level, or like break it or anything like that. I forget. Can you hit these guys with a feather? No, you can't. I just have to remind myself on that one. Okay, that was actually kind of stupid. Let's just take the vine. It's a lot faster. Go. All right. Shove me in a wall. Yeah, let's take these guys out with that. I really hate how spikes hurt you from the side. I mean, Sonic can stand on spikes, why can't Mario? Oh. Of course they would do that. Of course they would do that. <coughs> now I can already tell just because there's stuff coming out of the ceiling that this is going to be pretty bad. Oh indeed. Oh, jump to his death with the poor little guy. 
me jump into his deck. Slightly different conclusions. Oh wow, this is kind of easy. Whoa. I say that, and then I nearly get crushed. Oh. I probably should have seen that coming. What is here? Whoa! Ho ho! Nice try, game. Nice try. Okay, there's stuff on the ceiling. I'm half expecting it to fall and kill me. I highly doubt that is the case because I don't think computer programming was is that good even today by Mario World engine physics. Was that the boss door? That was the boss door. Neat. They made it into like an actual like Arabian Nights opening. Um wait, what? Wait, what's going on? Where's Wendy? Oh, crap. Was this the level that Oh, I think this is the level that doesn't exactly end when you reach the boss door. No, it's not. No. Let's load that again. I want to just fly in there, please, game. Oh, there we go. Oh, hello, Wendy. Okay, so now we're at the Windy Boss fight. Just kill both of those things. Make the fight a little easier. Alright. Oh, I missed Windy! How could I miss Windy? Whoa! Alright, Windy. Go die in water. Okay, I don't know how that happens, but... I guess it's better than lava. I guess it's better than lava. Oh god. Now this means I have to find the secret exit. Oh joy. Uh, I'm probably just going to cut to the point where I find the secret. Because that's probably going to be a lot easier on me and a lot easier on all of you viewers. So, after defeating Wendy O. Koopa, I don't know what that O is supposed to represent, we now reach the entrance to Bowser's Valley, which will undoubtedly. undoubtedly. Is that spelled right? No, it's not. It, he left out a D. What the heck? That'd uh, be a tough challenge, blah blah blah. Let's see what Bowser has in store, but first, more pyramid shenanigans. Or maybe not. We have an iceberg. A second iceberg. But as I was saying, more pyramids. So, I'll see you guys in a bit. Behold the miraculous solution that I eventually had to look up on a video! So, does anyone remember what I said before? That because of those pipes that keep falling, they can't possibly be the secret exit? Well, I was actually kind of wrong. They can be the secret exit. If you manage to go in them before they, like, you know... This one particularly. This one works. The others don't. So, yeah, um... I kind of spoke way too soon on that one, so... There you go. The secret exit is very easy to get, and I'm a little embarrassed that, you know, I didn't try to check the pipes a little more often. I did eventually, but I didn't check that first one for some reason. Right, so let me get a little drink here, and... <coughs> Alright, I had to go get something from my throat. Let's go to the special world. The second reality. And welcome to Scrap Brain Zone. I wonder if we're going to be fighting Eggman. I highly doubt it. Oh, there is actually something up there. What's this do for me? 
I bet it does fun things. Have I already hit that switch? I think so. Oh. You know, it just occurred to me there's blue hedgehogs in Scrap Brain Zone. Oh, you silly programmer, you watch your face. I, I don't remember who the programmer of this project is anymore. Because it's been so long since I last, like, you know, looked at his name. I feel kind of bad that I forgot the guy's name, because this is actually a pretty good ROM hack. Despite the fact that I keep fucking up a lot. A lot. A lot more, even. Uh, down here. Lava. Good to know! Good to know there's liquid death right down below. But I'm telling you, because I hit that switch at the beginning, that's probably opened up the secret exit. It probably means I'm gonna die by lava. No, it probably means I just need to be a little careful. And I should get to the end without any problems. If I don't stop doing that... There we go. Alright. The problem is, I'm not very familiar with the Sega games, especially Sonic, so I don't actually know how well this is actually, like, um, how good a homage this is to the original, uh, Sonic levels. But, from what I recall, um, there's not enough loop to loops, I'm sorry, you're gonna have to go back to the drawing board on this one. Uh, jackass comments aside, um, this isn't bad. I'm enjoying it, it's not too hard. Most of the goof-ups are mostly because of... That was cool. Let's just rewind that. Most of the screw-ups are mostly me just having been, like, moronic. right through here. Shit. Alright, let's do this. There we go. That worked. Yay! Now the question is, is this the actual exit or not? I don't think so. I think this is just... This is the secret. What the hell is this? Wait, wait, wait. What happens if I fall down here? Oh. I end up in back like in the uh, real level exit thing. Something. Oh, this is gonna get nightmarish already. I can tell already. Because for some reason these blocks are changing. And I can't jump off them for some reason. Arr. switch? Here, I thought I unlocked, like, some super uber secret or something, but no, I guess it was just a blue switch. Okay, well, there's that. I actually completely forgot that the blue switch was in Scrap Brain Zone. That just shows how, uh, 
how horribly mangled my brain is right now. Ah, uh, alright, but there should be, like, at least two more exits here, as far as I know. At most, two more, I should say. Alright, you know what, let's see what happens if I don't hit that switch this time around. Apparently I caused the ground to explode. I wish I had that power. Just, like, to smack the ground and just, like, make a mini explosion happen. I guess it wouldn't be a really good power, I mean... This, on the other hand, is an awesome power. Until that happens. Flight is an awesome power until you die. Because got cocky and thought you could fly through the whole thing. And probably you could, it's just I'm not good enough. I need to learn. I need to, like, not to hit people. Ah. Okay, there we go. I need to learn to be... I need to learn to stop trying to take so many shortcuts. Because I always end up getting killed because of my own ability to mess up simple jumps. Brilliant. There we go. Ooh, that was close. Whoa, that was even close. Oh. So, more Sonic the Hedgehogs. Just bouncing back and forth. I'd be a little more amused if, like, um, if I wasn't running for fire, but also if the Sonics were, like, I mean, obviously that's supposed to be a stand-in for Sonic. I mean, what else could it possibly be? They, why would they make the Spines blue otherwise? I don't know, I'd be amused if they were actually, like, spin-dashing around or something. Um, okay, that's new. Why are these guys synchronized like this? I don't think they're supposed to be doing this. They're not supposed to be doing that at all. where you go for the blue switch, and, aha, it is blocked. So that's what you have to hit that switch for. So then, is that actually one of the exits? I guess it is. Unless there's, like, some secret one up ahead. I don't know. Is there a third exit to this level? I don't think there is. This looks like it's it. Alright, well we got another warp here, and we'll see where it goes next time!